His fans call him Turbo. His critics, however, used to call him so much more. But undefeated WBO lightweight world champion Terry Flanagan has, over time, silenced the doubters that were in full throat since he captured the world title with a second round TKO over unbeaten Jose Zapata in July of 2015. There was a time when the rugged Mancunian seemed like just another face in the crowd. A good champion, but not anything special. But as the fights have passed and his record grew, the subtleties that set Flanagan apart became more and more obvious. While not the fastest or strongest of lightweights, Flanagan's nuanced excellence was on full display this past April when he romped to a unanimous decision over two-time world title challenger, the ring-wise Peter Petrov. Using his uncanny footwork and cunning cat and mouse tactics, Flanagan outworked and outfought Petrov through the scheduled 12 rounds and showed the world this is one undefeated champion who has earned his stripes. Unfortunately, Flanagan has seen his biggest fight to date go a cropper after a leg injury forced the postponement of his September 16th defense against Puerto Rican prospect Felix Verdejo. Once that fight's rescheduled, Verdejo poses easily the stiffest test of Flanagan's career. A hellacious puncher with either hand, whose elite power is a byproduct of his blinding hand speed and complemented by balletic footwork, Verdejo has been long tabbed as the next big thing to punch his way off the shores of the Caribbean fighting factory. Flanagan, however, has fought his way to the point that a stiff test is no longer seemingly impossible. At 5'9", with the wingspan of a condor, the in-ring disposition of a hungry badger, a handcrafted varied offense, and a refined fighting mind, Flanagan, once seen as a clunker, is in fact a fine-tuned champion on the verge of earning some turbocharged respect.